what's going on out there and wherever you are tom mcdonald the system a video that i'm sure is about how fair and balanced the system is and how it's not rigged and not corrupt and that there's no reason for us to complain at all let's hear him say that let's go Welcome to the world, baby boy. I'll paint you red and white and blue. The indoctrination starts as soon as you come out the womb. Pretty quick, we'll make you stupid with curriculums at school. And if the classroom doesn't do the trick, we'll make you watch the news. Pick your team, right or left. Take the red pill or the blue. You can vote, but even if you win, still everyone will lose. Don't forget to buy designer because Gucci makes you cool. We prioritize material belongings over truth. Get a job that you can't stand so you can buy. Okay, that's already good. Both sides don't matter. Designers make you cool. And it's, it's like a... It doesn't matter if reality's real. It doesn't matter. If it's all fake, then you just do the fake shit. Maybe we can get in that in a second. And before he starts this next verse, I think what's kind of crazy, if I can get cynical meta about it, is that shit just goes through cycles. There's a cat here that wants to say hi. Meow. But uh, it's kind of like even like being woke about shit goes through cycles. So like maybe we'll go through a 10 year period, five or 10 year period where everyone's like, yeah, this is all, it's a broken system, man. And then there'll be like a couple of changes and everyone will go back to being asleep for like a decade or two. I think that's the craziest part is that we think we're new to it, but it's just like 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, alts, like the same shit just keeps getting recycled. Yeah, you got new technology, but kind of still the same old shit just new labels welcome to the world baby girl i paint you pink if that's okay we'll encourage self-destruction through the music that you play we divided all the men by trying politics and race and honestly it's working awesome so for you we'll do the same never teaching you to love yourself inject you full of hate objected by your sexuality then blame you for the rape and i gotta stop there too like even like teach you to hate yourself it's just all motivation, right? They, they teach you to hate yourself so they can sell you shit about you hating yourself. But now they're going to teach you to love yourself so they can sell you shit about you loving yourself. It doesn't matter what the message is. It's all still serving the same function. That's the, that's the fucking weird part. It doesn't matter if you hate yourself or love yourself because it's all a product. Weaponize the differences that make our men and women great And just to screw with you, erase the genders Everyone's the same We'll empower you with rights to vote and fight for equal pay Then have the men turn into women and you'll fight for them again But you thought you had it figured out, but everything has changed Welcome to the system, please enjoy your stay Here's a Bible and a bottle of the cheapest booze we make Find a man who can take care of you to fill the holes we make Buy a house and settle down, fulfill your duty, procreate And make a couple babies who will also do the same To the system, everyone's a victim no yeah, something just occurred to me, man, that could actually be good or bad. I mean, I don't know. I sell shit online. No product placement. I actually don't. I've only got some guitars for sale right now. But don't, don't worry. There's no link. You, you don't know where they are. You can't buy them from me. Um, but maybe if you make everyone the same, it might actually be easier for, for selling. Because now, instead of having to target men and women, if you make everyone the same, you can just target 100%. You still will have, you know, niche, niches, niches of markets. It's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you go with the system or go against the system because thinking about the system is already a box. So if you're for the system, we already have all the products to sell you. And if you're against the system, we have all the products to sell you. Right? Even think about Tom, even this song. If you're against the system, this song is a song you want to consume. 
and this is making money for somebody. Oh no, I went back too far. Back into the system, everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the world, everybody. I'ma paint you black and white. I'ma make you hate each other so that everyone will fight. I'ma give you our religion, let the righteous find the light. But I will also give you science to oppose the word of Christ. And I'ma give you borders, they're imaginary lines. If you cross them, go to war and win when everybody dies. And I'ma give you money that you'll value more than life. And let the 1% have everything while you fight to survive. And then I'll give you politics, I'll call it left and right. That's the, that, I think that's maybe the realest, real, real, real shit out of all of it. Let the one percent have everything, and the rest of y'all bitches fight for the crumbs. That's that's the real shit. And while you divide yourselves, I will conquer both the sides. Can't you see? I'm the system. My whole purpose is divide. What you choose will never matter because everything is mine. That's dope. Welcome to the system. Everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. It hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the system. Everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. It hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the system. Everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white. It hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Yeah, I don't even know. Like, I'm not sure. I think I... Okay, I do have a... I have a, I guess, like, a point or a message. Cat, chill the fuck out. Chill, bro. Chill. 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 Be cool. Be cool. Um... If your brain... Yeah, oh, it's weird. There's no way to address it without, like, kind of going through steps. If you're brand new to this idea, then you're like, Oh, wow. Yeah, all mask off. Oh, my God. Oh, sh everything's all fucked up and twisted. Which is true but if you've been on this message for quite a while there is a real dark dark part to it which is that you can't as far as fixing the system you can't really fix it you could overthrow it but you know what happens when you overthrow a system you get another system that also is exploitive every system known that's ever been creative is exploitive that's what systems do uh, you know, top-down governance, but I, th I think maybe I'm, maybe I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm downplaying it, or I, I don't know, like t finding a middle path is instead of being like, oh, the system's not broken on one hand, or the system is broken, let's overthrow it. It's kind of like just be more cognizant of what the system's doing, so you can make choices that are more in tune with what you want and not what you've been influenced to want but the problem though is that it's kind of sad but it's true is is that by the time you've been influenced to want to do something by the time you've been influenced enough with enough exposure and indoctrination like you said on the left or the right by the time you actually are compelled to act based on being influenced, you're usually too far gone to come back. Because it's hard, it's when you truly believe something, like believe it down to the, the fabric of your being, your existence, it's actually really difficult to to honestly contemplate the factuality and possibility of other options. You may hear them, but you don't actually contemplate them, really. Like, uh, can, I, can I think of like a... I don't know, I can't, I don't know if I can think of a good one. I'll just, I'll just make up one, I'll, I'll make up one. If you are really indoctrinated into a religion, like indoctrinated so much into that religion that you want to kill and harm other people and you believe in like whatever afterlife spirituality comes along with that religion, you, you, can, you can listen to someone else's argument, but you, 
can't really hold it in your hand and go, well, you know, really, what if everything I've believed my whole life is completely wrong? Now, there are, there are people, obviously, lots of people that get swayed and they come back. But it's usually not... I'm speaking with really broad strokes here, but it's usually not because they sat down and looked at some evidence and changed their mind. Um, most people I've encountered or most situations I've, I've seen on like documentaries or interviews is usually what happens. Usually what happens is, is something happens to that person that, that is completely not in line with their belief structure. Something happens that's so out of this world to them, it forces them to reconsider their opinion. Right? Like, for example, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about ghosts. I don't know if ghosts are real. I mean, I, I definitely been scared of shit, of the possibility of some supernatural shit, but I don't know if ghosts are real. I guess call me undecided. If I, if, however, if I saw a ghost that would change everything i'd be like well i guess i have to like reconsider my stance so yeah i think that that's enough talky talk i guess one sorry one la one last thing is again don't know if this is pessimistic or optimistic if we're living in the system then the system's all we've got. Even us contemplating the system is part of the system. And so you can't curse the system because now you're just cursing existence itself. Right? It's like uh, what, what this guy, Jim Rohn said, that the guy who's planting and his crops don't turn out well, he curses, he curses the weather, and he curses the ground, curses the seeds curses the water curses everything and it's like well there ain't nothing left man you cursed everything you got at that point you're just out of luck there's no there's no point in cursing the only shit you have you have to try to make do with it